there are now only two days left until Christmas. So we really hope you are now surrounded by your closest family and friends during this happiest time of the year. In fact, it's actually going to be Jenny and my first Christmas together. Yep, that is right. So this year is actually very, very exciting for me and Jay because after, you know, everything that has happened, we are finally celebrating our first Christmas. And in fact, we have a lot of errands to run today. We're going to try to pick up a honey baked ham and some other Christmas decorations. But before we do that, we actually thought it would be fun to share Christmas stories with you guys, um, especially since I can give a take from, you know, what it's like to celebrate an American Christmas and Jenny can kind of tell me and share her, you know, history <laughs> with Christmas here in the Philippines, which I'm sure is a lot more exciting. And why are we doing this? Because Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, Christmas in the Philippines. Um, growing up, Christmas has always been the most exciting uh, time of the year, at least for me, because you know what, Jay? I did not grow up in a privileged family. In fact, I grew up poor. So I could say that Christmas and birthdays is, is the only time of the year where you can actually receive gifts. So not only from your parents, but what we, what we have, uh, what we call Ninas and Ninong. So you either receive gifts or cash. So I don't know if uh, that's a thing in, in America, but that's a very huge thing here in the Philippines. To add on to that, Jenny, I would say that also for myself, I grew up very poor. We were not privileged uh, by any means. And it was indeed Christmas that was the most special time of the oh, year. Because okay. I actually grew up with my older brother, Tony, which you know viewers have met in other vlogs and I also had a younger cousin but he's more the same age as me mm -hmm. so we were kind of like twins in a okay. way even though we were cousins and it was always the three of us that played together and we always looked forward to Christmas more than anything because it was that special time of year where you'd wake up you know I think we would probably start checking the tree like you know midnight or something right we we didn't we had so much energy that we couldn't wait until the morning you know we're like just too excited right yeah too restless too restless so it was always like so warm because um i guess in that sense it's similar to the philippines even though maybe in america it's to a smaller scale because i just remember being around like my uncle my grandma and you know my my parents um and we would just gather together we would do things like we would have um stockings mm -hmm. and then you would fill it with like you know candy canes mm -hmm. and like chocolates and you know yeah just candies, things like that. I had a brother who liked to get involved with all the latest and greatest toys for kids. <laughs> so it was like, he bought like his own like racetrack. Mm -hmm. So we would get these like, you know, these race cars and um, they would just circle around the track and we used to always like just have a kick doing that. And then every year it was always like, oh, I can't compete with my brother. Mom, can you like upgrade me, buy me a better car? And every Christmas. You don't, you never know what you'll get for Christmas, but in the back of your head, it was always like, I want like a new race car or I want, uh, there, there was these like uh, toy guns that we used to play with. They were like super soakers. So you'd fill them with water and like you'd shoot the other kids with it. Um, but that was a big one. And then um, of course, like GI Joe action figures. But so for us, it was very special because we didn't usually get a lot of gifts throughout the year. Mm -hmm. We just all had to wait till Christmas, but it was even more special because it all converged at once where my brother my cousin and myself like we all got to splurge all at the same time so we're all playing with each other on christmas morning with new toys and the most special gift i ever got of, out of all of them would be um my first uh bike bike uh like a motorbike or well we, we were just kids so <laughs> not a motorbike <laughs> oh, okay. just just a sense. bicycle <laughs> with training wheels actually so my cousin and you know for me i think my brother maybe already had one i just remember there were like two bikes on christmas and i'm rushing my dad and my cousin's rushing his dad so they're like competing you know it's, it's kind of like a formula one racetrack and they're like mm -hmm. changing tires and like who can get the car ready you know as soon as possible because my cousin and i were just sitting there anxiously waiting of course my cousin beat me to the punch and <laughs> you know he's like on his bike and you know like riding it down the street like multiple times before mine is even ready to go. Wow that is like really nice to hear Jay because um, I think it's the same thing in the Philippines. Um, you know I have a nephew 
Mm -hmm. He is, uh, he's 10 years old now, but like every Christmas, we always make sure that he has like enough gifts, like toys and what, whatever, what, whichever he wants. And Kit Kats, right? <laughs> yeah, chocolates, <laughs> of course. But like, you know, for me, as I was actually thinking when you said like the most memorable gift that you received when you were a kid. So in the topic of like your most memorable gift you've received when you were a kid. <laughs> The reason I did the portion is I don't think I have one. That's one. That's one. That's one. Okay, the thing that I remember the most, uh, especially in the morning of Christmas, is um, like me and my cousins were like lining up uh, on, uh, at the front of my my uncle's house, and then my uncle will start giving like money, like literal cash, you know. Wow. And it was so funny because we 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 still had this like five peso uh, bill, so it, it's either five pesos, ten pesos, and twenty pesos, and we were so very much happy about it already, like just receiving that cash. You know, and then you, you collect it, right? And then you count it after the end of the day. Like, we were so happy. Not, <laughs> That's the, the thing that I remember the most in the morning of Christmas. Nothing will make kids happier than money. It's amazing how early on they grasp the concept yes. and value of money. So, yes. Is it popular in America, like giving cash? I think it is because, um, well, at least for my family, because we're Chinese. But the cash was usually more reserved for a Chinese New Year. Oh. With the uh, ang tao or red, oh, yeah. red envelopes. Yeah, the red envelope is very popular here during Christmas. Oh, okay. Yes, so what they do is they put the cash inside a red envelope. We call yeah. it ang tao. Yeah. And then every time, like, once you see it, you already know, oh, yes, that's money. Yeah, if you're a kid, your eyes light up, yeah. right? And you just run to that relative yeah. who has it. Yes. Yeah, for us, it was more for Chinese New Year. But for Christmas, it was really the toys uh. that we were like, gravitating and looking forward to the most. The topic of Christmas can be very raw and emotional. So I just want to say thank you to Jenny for, you know, sharing it with all of us because I actually haven't seen or heard like we never really discussed Christmas yeah. growing up. Um, you know, as awesome and festive and great as Christmas is, like if I'm honest too, like there is for me a, a degree of somberness to it because I'll always remember my mom and my grandma because they were so instrumental and, in, um, you know, they were just what made Christmas come alive. Yes. And when you're a kid, maybe, unfortunately, like you don't appreciate your parents as much or your grandparents. Because you just expect that we have to have it. You just expect it to happen. Yeah. Right. And then when you grow up and you, it really hits you like how special and meaningful it is and um, also like you're just very thankful for the people that are in your life who care enough about you to even put effort. Yes, like dude, just preparing the food for the Noche Buena. By the way, we call the uh, Christmas Eve here Noche Buena. Like as an adult, I realize how hard it is. Yeah. I realized how much money you have to <laughs> spend just to put like a lot of food on the table yep. and like looking back it's just amazing especially if you grew up in a poor family like man how did my granny pull that off i know it's just like really crazy certain things don't hit you until you're older so that, that's true it's like they say christmas or is it, christmas is for the kids yep. but um it's yeah i kind of agree yeah like the christmas the, the happiness side of christmas is yeah it's for the kids but when you when you grow up, when, when you're an adult, I don't know, it's like it makes you sad in a way because um, like I wish I, I'm still a kid. I wish I'm doing what my nephew is doing right now. Yeah. But instead, like, do I still have a budget for next <laughs> week? <laughs> I think, you know, even for us, you know, as you get older, the joy that you get from Christmas is seeing other people light up. Yes. Like whether it's kids or even other family members like when you give them a small you know gift or you know gesture or just token of appreciation and you know you see the smile on their face so i think for me it's kind of become as simple as that obviously i don't <laughs> expect you know to receive any presents anymore and you know like to be honest like the impact wouldn't be the same because like it was like my mom and grandma 
that for me made Christmas so special. Uh, but it's okay because like I'll always cherish those memories. And moving along, just comparing Christmas from the States to the Philippines, I would say in America, because we also have another major holiday before Christmas, it's called uh -huh. Thanksgiving. That's in late November. And then of course, Black Friday shopping after, you know, you guys are really familiar with that. Yes, now. You guys, yes. you know, in the Philippines. We kind of celebrate it. Yeah. So for us, it's really the day after Christmas or maybe let's say even after Black Friday, because that's so important now. Mm -hmm that the neighbors will start putting up the Christmas lights and let's say Christmas tree and all the decorations. So I would say like end of November or the beginning of December. And for Americans, we really like um, wrap up Christmas, I'd say the first week of January. Mm -hmm. So let's say after the new year, you might give it one or probably like two weeks at most before it's like, okay, Christmas season is over. Let's put away all the decor. And you know, you really won't start that process again until the end of November. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jay is quite different here because as early as August, you can see that, you know, huge supermarkets like Landers and SNR, they're yep. going to start selling the Christmas decors. And as, as soon as we call it bear months, as yeah. soon as September that's, 1st. <laughs> that's when you start hearing Mariah Carey yes. on every single department store. Yes. You know, yes. so all the Christmas carols. Um, which I always felt was really awesome to yes. see and experience and be a part of. So like I've been going to the Philippines now around Christmas time since um, 2017. So like it almost seems like every single year, pretty much I'm, I'm in the Philippines this time of year. So I think, you know, subconsciously, I already know I want to be in the Philippines because like I'd much rather celebrate it here than, you know, back in the States. You know, I'm just one data point, but hopefully, you know, for anyone watching, you can kind of see the impact it has, even for somebody who's not from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I never experienced this type of Christmas, but the moment I did, I'm like, yeah, why not? You know, like, why not start in July or August, right? It's, it's awesome to have this Christmas spirit as long as possible. Yes, and we like to drag it as long as we can, Jay. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, the Christmas decor uh, here would last until Chinese New Year. <laughs> and that's when the Ang Pao comes out, so perfect no, timing. Yeah. That's when more Ang Pao comes oh, out. Oh, <laughs> more Ang Pao, yeah. Yeah, so there are Ang Pao's in Christmas, Ang Pao's on New Year, Ang Pao's on Chinese New Year. It's great to be a kid in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, it's like the most just like the most exciting time of the year if you're a kid. So Jay, just to wrap it up, what is Christmas for you as an adult? Hmm, that's a good question. I think now, you know, I just try to keep not only Christmas, but life more simple. So if I can see kids being happy and playful, you know, carefree, kind of like what you see here on High Street, yes. you know, this time of year, that's enough for me. Obviously, I'm too old to be receiving gifts, right? <laughs> I'm and, not old enough to receive <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for you, but the only special gifts, like, you know, for me could only come from two very special people in my life. And it's more like I've already time capsuled that and will cherish that. So every Christmas, I'll think of them and remember them in that time, uh, you know, that time of innocence yeah yeah that totally makes sense i think for me you were we're kind of the same in that way because um i think for me this year is just i just want to appreciate what i have it's more of like appreciation and cherish cherishing the people the loved ones you have left i guess with all that said um it's time to go look for a <laughs> christmas ham so thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of bgc dreams we hope you enjoyed this storytelling episode and um, if you did please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below and feel free to leave your own personal stories about Christmas we would love to read more about them. all right and just signing off Jenny and I would just like to say Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas.